The takeover of Kabul followed by the disruption of international financial assistance has left the war-torn country in economic, humanitarian and human rights crisis. When U.S. troops were withdrawn from Afghanistan and the Taliban took over the government, world leaders and others braced themselves for what the future might hold for Afghanistan and its citizens. Many fared the worst and the Taliban did not disappoint. Take a look. The resumption of Taliban rule in Afghanistan has halted progress on domestic issues and in some cases turned back the clock to a more repressive era in the country's history. Since their return to power in August last year, Taliban have introduced strict rules and regulations in Afghanistan in accordance with Islamic Sharia law. The Taliban-led Supreme Court has said on Twitter that 14 people, including three women, were lashed in the presence of scholars, authorities and people for different sins, including adultery, robbery and other forms of corruption in a football stadium in Loga province. Since 15th of August 2021, when the Taliban stole power in Afghanistan, the situation in the country has deteriorated quickly, in particular the situation for women and girls and especially minority groups as Hazara. The extremist Taliban group initiated their rule by appointing an all-male cabinet, which they call a government. For me as a social democrat and a feminist, it is nothing else than a group of terrorists that destroys the life of the people and the progresses made in Afghanistan. They decide on what women and girls should wear. They decide on where women and girls should walk. They decide on what women and girls can or cannot say. The Taliban gender apartheid is despicable and it must end now. During the Taliban's rule from 1996 to 2001, lashings, amputations and death by stoning took place in public. The actions of the militant group have been closely watched by the international community since seizing power in August 2021, in particular its human rights track record and stance on women's rights. Women were deprived of getting a secondary school education when the Taliban backtracked on a commitment to open all girls' high schools in March. Earlier this month, Afghanistan's morality police ordered that all amusement parks in the country must now refuse entry to women in the latest curtailment of freedom for women. Hundreds of loudspeakers have been installed in Afghanistan's capital, Kabul, to encourage worshippers to attend prayers. Hundreds of empty shops and other buildings that were not in use have been converted into mosques to give everyone the opportunity to pray communally. To date, no country in the world has formally recognized the Taliban government. The UN General Assembly recently adopted a resolution that sent a strong message to the Taliban that the world body will not recognize Afghanistan's de facto authorities without respect for human rights, including for women, girls, and minorities. The European Parliament is committed to the people of Afghanistan, not to its rulers. The Taliban want women to be invisible. We want them to thrive. And until they can regain their rightful place in society, we will continue to amplify their voice. The takeover of the government followed by the disruption of international financial assistance has left the war-torn country in economic, humanitarian and human rights crisis. When US troops were withdrawn from Afghanistan and the Taliban took over the government, world leaders and others braced themselves for what the future might hold for Afghanistan and its citizens. Many feared the worst and the Taliban did not disappoint. It claimed to have reformed its ways, but with a long history of a radical religious ideology, sectarian politics, government corruption, and participation in proxy wars 
and armed insurgencies, skeptics were not convinced that the terrorist group had changed its ways. Their skepticism was justified.